Hello, welcome to my channel. Today is a, a KiCad quickie, and this is something that uh, took me a while to really understand, and it's actually probably very easy, but you know, sometimes, uh, you know, as you're learning a large amount of things in a new software, uh, some, some stuff eludes you for a while. But when I wanted to reposition something like this, so this is just a generic connector, and what I'm building here, or what I'm trying to make here is a, uh, I wanna make the Arduino, Arduino uh, schematic for uh, for an Atmel 328P you can see here and because uh, I want to make my own boards I want them to have my own branding and and maybe sell them to people or whatever I don't know or just you know if I'm at I'm trying to do some educational uh, uh, presentations and it'd be nice to have a door prize or something I don't know uh, but it's something I'm trying out so one of the things is is like you know, I, I like my schematics to be as, as cleanly laid out as I can do them. And I, I need to put a component above here. So I don't, I, I don't have a lot of stuff here. So I thought if I could just move this. So basically the grab command, it's, it's uh, initiated with G. You can press G or you can right click on something and use uh, drag it's called, but I call it grab. So I remember G. And I think in the PCB it's called grab. In the PCB new it's called grab. So the trick is is um, like so. What I don't like. Uh, so this is the caveat. So I don't like to get these you know angular lines here. I like to everything to be horizontal or vertical. So the trick is to only grab the things that you want to move in the X or Y or horizontal or vertical. So if I hit G for this, you see I can move it sideways, but up and down kills me so say I wanted to move this ground I don't want to pick just the ground if I pick just the ground I get the angular but if I pick the ground and the wire now that the horizontal wire stretches and I can move this all the way over and I can pick these two and I can move this all the way over and you have to you know you have to stay flat of course so I want to pick this this component here it's a six pin two row connector I'm going to slide that over and then I want to move these two lines. So I'm going to pick that line and I'm going to control select that line and I'm going to press grab or G and I'm going to drag that over. So a little bit further and I'll be happy, um, but I'm not going to torture with that. So that's that's it. That's just a quick, quick tip on how to uh, move something. So say if I wanted to move uh, all of these down. So let's try to let's see if I can do that. So I'm going to pick all of these. I'm going to pick this guy. I'm not going to pick this guy. I'm not going to pick that one. So that's it. So I so I basically I want to pick only the things that are going to be moving, moving in the uh, vertical direction. Oops, no, I don't don't want that one. I do. I want this one. No, I'm not resizing those. So that these get resized so they don't get picked. So let's try that. Grab, and you can see now I can bring it down without those getting uh, those. Uh, otherwise, if I pick these, this would stretch. So let's say, so now that they got selected because I grabbed them, you'll see now, <laughs> now it wants to move all those things. So it's all about, you know, what you, what you select. So let's say I want to move this one over. I just select that by itself. I'm going to grab that and I'll slide that there. And grab this and slide it over here. So, um, you know, unless, so if you're like me, you know, I kind of get it wired up and then I'm like, uh, I want to. I want to get things looking better. So like this, I don't like that these aren't even. So let's see if I can pr bring this up without causing trouble. <laughs> so so you can see that they're highlighted. You can see the vague highlight. And now let's grab that and slide that up one. Yeah. So now I've got those lines even. These are even. So that's how you can tweak your, your schematic without uh, having to redraw lines. So what I used to do is I'd delete all the lines and redraw them. Well, I'm happy that I don't have to do that anymore, and I hope I helped you out with this simple tip. If you like my videos, make sure you subscribe and uh, click on the alarm bell so you get notices. That really helps me when I release a video because it, it drives up the numbers right in the beginning. Um, and then also consider following me on Patreon. That's uh, Math Code Print. It's you know, patreon.com slash mathcodeprint. And have a great day.